One of the coolest things discovered last week is a new apex predator from before the time of the dinosaurs. And if that's not cool enough on its own, this discovery also means we were super wrong about the evolution of ecosystems and predation on the supercontinent Pangaea. Meet Gaiasia geniae. It was about three meters long with a mouthful of seriously vicious looking teeth, so thank goodness it is super dead. It lived 280 million years ago in the early Permian period of what is now Namibia. To understand the most mind-blowing thing about Gaiasia, you need a little bit of context. So this is a map of the evolutionary relationships of all tetrapods, living and extinct. This line up here near the top is the line leading to modern amphibians. This line here at the very top leads to modern mammals as well as modern reptiles, which for these purposes includes birds. And it's a little hard to see on this map, but those are are fairly closely related to each other, at least compared to everything else that's going on here. They're all in this clade up here. At first, the researchers thought Gaiasia was going to turn out to be not within the modern amphibian group, but fairly closely related to it. But as they spent two years preparing the type or defining specimen of Gaiasia, they started noticing more and more weird primitive features, and ultimately they had to conclude that it wasn't anywhere near any of these groups. It actually belongs all the way down here. Now, Gaiasia is not the only stem or primitive tetrapod known to have hung on into the Permian period, but certainly nobody was expecting any of these creatures to be an apex predator this recently in geologic time. So how did we miss this? Well, it turns out that we haven't really given ourselves the opportunity to check in the right places yet. The middle of these three images is what the world looked like when Gaiasia was alive. The red star down here is where Gaiasia Gaiasia was found, and all of the other dots represent places where fossils of other complex land animals were found, and as you can see, almost all of these dots are in this green zone up here, which represents the modern United States, North Africa, and Europe. And these fossils tell a pretty consistent story of ecosystems that were increasingly dominated by relatives of modern reptiles and modern mammals. So we just assumed that the whole world was like that, but clearly in the south, at least in the ecosystem where Gaiasia lived, that wasn't true. This story actually ties in quite nicely with the stuff I've been saying recently about how devolution or de-evolution isn't real because evolution is not about progress and doesn't have a direction. We like to think that the world that we live in and our place in it is inevitable. The history of the Earth was always inexorably leading to us. And things like Gaiasia tell us that that's not how it works. There was nothing inevitable about the rise of the mammals and the rise of birds and modern reptiles, and to, in fact, to call Gaiasia primitive and our ancestors who lived at the same time as Gaiasia derived is really just a matter of perspective. This and all my other content was brought to you thanks partly to my Patreon supporters, in particular besties Anton, Coleman, David, Juan, Martin, and Michael, as well as the friends named on the screen here. Thank you.